Hello and welcome to another Excel lesson by Global Project Control. In this lesson, we want to talk about how we can add match to VLOOKUP. I wrote VLOOKUP in order to find my plan percent complete from my export of P6 file. And I use schedule percent complete to fill plan percent complete on this project. If you write a VLOOKUP, you can write it by one lookup value and then table array. As you see, the table array is started from column A up to column C. Then column index number three and exact match. Then over here, after each update, I face this problem because if one of my colleagues add some things over here, then my data will be changed and the result is not appear over here. What is the solution? The solution is combination of match and VLOOKUP. What happened to this formula? This is the result of change over here in my table array. When I add a column over here, then my range is updated from A to D. But my column index number is fixed on 3. If I update the column index number to the 4, then the item could be updated like this. But another item is when you remove something over here, then you cannot update it immediately. It's going to be lost and you face it with a ref formula. What is the solution? Let me to first fix it and then over here we every time we update the column index number by using the match you can get the column index number automatically but how let me to show it to you first of all you need to find one match case between your plan and your column in the reference sheet. I have a schedule percent complete for both of them. So I copy a schedule percent complete over here and paste it on the above of this item. Then I need to add a match over here. This match need a lookup value. My lookup value is a schedule percent complete. Then I use the separator come back to the reference sheet. Your lookup array should be same as your lookup value. My, I wrote my lookup value from column A to the C, so I select from cell A1 to C1. Then I release it and go to the exact match and close the match and enter it. As you see, the same results come up. If you select this part of formula and select F9, then you can find that the result is 3. Before, I want to copy this cell to the other cells 
I should freeze the match and the reference criteria. Then I can copy and paste it to the other cell. But let's do check it. If I add another column over here and another column over here, then if you come back to the previous sheet, you can find that the data does not change. Why? Because if you select this match, you can find that my column index number automatically changed to the 4. If I'm going to delete this column and come back over here, you can find that this column index number updated to the 3. I hope this session is useful for you. Thank you for watching Global Project Control. I hope this lesson is useful for you. Please keep in touch with my LinkedIn, YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook for further lesson. Also, you can visit my website www globalprojectcontrol.com in order to find all of my lesson and courses in the same time. Thank you for your subscription at my YouTube channel.